Good mo <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess gets doing a bit more of the operative. No one lives forever, and we're off back to the Alpine region to continue what we were doing. And I've kind of forgotten. I know we we stealth past a load of cameras. I'm pretty sure that we don't have to be stealthy anymore. I don't know what makes me think that. Why do I think we? Oh, I did actually very briefly start, literally just 30 seconds of this the first level to see if you did have to stealth, and you don't. I'm trying to remember how I how I knew that, but there we go. We're still looking for the gondolas. Oh, Margate. What did you find out? The main gondola dock is heavily. I can't remember if we've seen this. It would be suicide to go that way. I'll have to risk it. There's no other choice. Ah, but there is. A few miles from here, there's an old service. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know if you're sitting through this because we've already seen it or not. I can't remember, but um, I can say I better just just to be safe. Well, I noticed there's a guard post out past the frozen lake. There's a snowmobile sitting outside. You've done well. What's your name? Tom. What's wrong? Nothing. Just reminds me of an old friend. Thank you, Tom. Good luck. Okay, there we go. Is Tom <clears throat> actually here? No, Tom has vanished. Tom's disappeared into his midnight garden. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a quick sip of coffee. Very professional, sorry about that. Just, um, on, which one is it to jump? That's the one to jump. <coughs> just been having, just eaten a couple of custard creams. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, keep, I keep seeing footprints in the snow and thinking, oh wow, it's uh, Intel, but it's not. Can I get behind here? Am I going to regret getting behind here? I can't anyway. It would have been interesting if full damage had killed me there, wouldn't it? Okay, no idea what's over this way. Oh! Hello? Where did he come from? That was bloody lucky. Yeah, what was that? Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, miles away. That's fine. Interesting. Okay, so there, so there are people wandering about. We have to be a little bit careful. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go over there because of oh, because of him straight into a brick wall. Yep. Damn it! Where's my no clipping road equipment? Okay, head over here. Look at these weird square barrels. Are well, not square, but kind of. What is that? Octagon? Is that a octagon? It is. I'm currently doing 2D shapes with my class at the moment, so you know, a bit of an expert when it comes to 2D shapes. Uh oh. Do I have anything that's? I mean, is this weird pistol that's? I haven't got much ammo for it though. We're obviously good. Oops. We're obviously gonna get spotted by this guy. Okay, run away! Run away! Run away quicker! Ow! What? From there? Oh, for God's sake! Oh, hello! Did he come from in the house? Reload, reload, reload! That did not go according to plan. Oh, oh, oh bags, there's more of them. Oh, he's got bloody phosphorus rounds as well. Oh, for... I'm going to have to try to... I'm really hoping there's a, there's a black jacket around there. Holy smokes! Okay, we got absolutely butchered on that. That was not that was not what I had in mind. Okay, anyway, we got some ammo. Did he come out? Did he come out of here? No. It looks very um cozy, cozy and festive in there though. They look like they're uh, cur curled up with some eggnog or something like that while listening to. Oh, hang on. No, that's that's clearly not doable. Okay. I actually, I don't know what it is, but I really like that knocking aspect, the fact you can knock on the door. I mean, it makes no difference, but anyway. Always on the lookout for intel. Which is the one, oh, that's the one where we found, we found a suppressor for this, didn't we, last time? Nice. We should probably stealth it a little bit. Oh. Or get stuck on the stairs. It's not easy to navigate stairs when you're a, a world-class spy. I don't actually know what I'm looking what am I looking for? Oh. The maintenance gondola station, I see. 
Hey, Phil. Oh. Yes. You bought that Bentley yet? I'm not sure if oh. I want it. But you were really excited about it. This is it for you. <laughs> that was really weird. They had sort of oh, ow, ow, ow. They had sort of weird Liverpool accents. You bought that Bentley yet? That was a terrible Liverpool. I can't do. I'm really bad at doing accents, like of any kind. But anyway, they, yeah, but they had a weird kind of Liverpool accent. They're talking about buying a Bentley. Why not? And unfortunately, we had to we had to interrupt the conversation. I thought I had more gunshots then. I really hope. Uh, I was going to say, I'm really hoping we find armor somewhere. Okay, I just wanted to quickly check. I did see there was an open window back there that we were probably expected to heroically leap through. Another jacket there. Nope. Okay. Seeming as well that once we go through this window, we're not coming back. Where was it? It was in. Uh, no, it was in this bottom one, wasn't it? Nice. They all died identically. Sort of. Oh, wrong button. Okay, way. I just don't trust full damage in this game. It's really punishing sometimes. And sometimes not. Nice. No intel. Nothing to read. Quick roll in the hay. Nothing. Very suspiciously quiet. Oh, what's that? These weird barns. I do. I like this. Uh oh. I do like this environment a lot more than. Uh oh. Okay. Well, the alarm's finally gone off, and no one's actually. It hasn't said game over. Oh. Nice, nice little Hollywood dive out the window. And again. So, oh, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Am I supposed to? There we go. Nice. I like it in um, Cypherfield when you can shoot out the searchlights that are looking for you as well. Probably don't really need that at the moment, but anyway. Again, terrified of falling off this thing. Oh, there's the... Oh, God, I wonder if we're going to have to snowmobile out there, out that gate bit. Okay, did not enjoy that. Oh, hang on. Oh, what's this? Ah. Hang on. I can't actually go up that. I can't climb that one. Do I get his weapons? Okay. Because once we fall down, there's a post. Can't take that with me. Any intel? A distinct lack of intel, or at least I'm not finding any anyway. Huh. Nice! There we go. Alpine Intrigue, seed 5. Okay, well that was fairly smooth. Again, because they, they took the stealth aspect away, it made it much more fun. We must be getting close to this gondola bit. I'm expecting and hoping for an actual moving gondola fight seed where if you fall off you die. Oh, God. That looks... oh. whoa. What's happening? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh wait, there's a gap. Holy smokes. Imagine how cold you'd be in that kind of... those kind of temperatures. Why is there a countdown? I hate countdowns in games. I like to be able to take my time and enjoy the scenery that the, the, the game designers have created, but there's no sprint in this. Hello. Oh, bloody... <gasps> Seriously, he's got a grenade launcher. Now that looks very much like it's going to collapse when I walk on it. Look at the different... Oh, my God. Different coloured textures on that. Oh, my God. It did. It sort of did. Four minutes. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like being hurried like this. Particularly if there's going to be dudes with grenade launchers. Of which there are almost certainly going to be dudes with grenade launchers. And we haven't got a lot of ammo for this. Oh, no. 
No. God, Bennett. That was a bit scary. If I do fall to my doom or get a grenade in the face, I'll just obviously cut out, edit out these bits so we don't have to. We don't want to see me traipsing through snowy woods endlessly. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is it. I wonder if it's three minutes until the gondola is about to leave and we've got to be on it. How would we know that though? How would we know that we've got exactly three minutes? Oh, this doesn't look good. I see, aha, uh -huh, hang on, I see smoke coming up from over here. Oh, okay. Is this the gondola station? Oh, oh, is it three minutes until we died of hypothermia? Because we've been in the water. I wonder. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was, that was an insanely quick scene. Okay, fair enough. With one lonesome guard wandering about with a grenade launcher, though. I would prefer, I prefer a suppressed sniper rifle, would have been nice, but I uh, can't have everything. I like that. That is incredibly cosy. Go ahead, Fox Hunt. Approaching target. Outlook good. Over. Excellent news. Proceed as planned. Support standing by. We'll await your signal. Over. Understood. Over and out. Not over and out, that's not a thing. You don't say over and out. It's either over or out. Anyway, I did think for a second that was a weird starfish. What is that? Oh, it's shoes. I thought that was some massive weird starfish. I do like it in games, very minor touch. Um, when they have maps in games, like accurately, accurate looking maps. I remember seeing that in Medal of Honor 1, I think, on the PS1 and being really impressed. That's where I used to live, and that's sort of where I live now. Anyway, sort of. Pinpoint accuracy. All these goods. Oh, I love it. I really like this little shack. Okay. Oh no. Change my mind. Don't like this. Oh, God. This was even more difficult to use. I don't even know where I'm going. Than um, than the other than that other motorbike. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to this. If there's any kind of having to flee across... Um, is, this a, is this the way? I... Oh, for God's sake, it's so twitchy. Uh, if there's any kind of having to flee across crumbling snow... Or getting chased by helicopters again. I don't know where I'm going! Is it up here? Oh my god, it's so... Like... Oh my god. Like, I understand that it's not... This isn't the driving game, but holy smokes, this is the best they could come up with. Don't go into the tree. Okay. Uh-oh. I wonder... I probably haven't got enough ammo for these. I'm assuming I'm just supposed to go speeding straight through them into that. Should we try it? Should we just try it? No. Hello, mate. Look at him, they huge. Okay. No, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ignore them. I'm just going to try. Just going straight into that. Yeah, okay, I had a feeling they wouldn't like that. Keep going. Oh, no. Oh, no, there is a cave. Moggy! Okay, sorry about that. The cat decided to jump up on the PC tower, and uh, that's where the power button is. And it wouldn't be the first time that she's trodden on the power button and turned the whole bloody thing off. No! No! Oh no. Moggy, this is your fault. Turn! Desperately trying to get into this pit, right? I think I would probably like to just kill this guy without... Two guys, without... Is he running? Will you? Oh no! Quick! Quick! Are you kidding? Holy smokes! He ran for days! I'm running out of ammo as well. I don't even know what weapon he had. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, back for the snowmobile because it is. We could. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you can do these things on foot, but then other times it's like no, there'll be some ridiculous jump you need to do. Okay, I should have been using this. Never mind. Although the AK seems to pack a bit more punch. Hello, box. It's um, it's it's not very accurate. Oh, there it is. I thought there was some armor there. I was like, oh, there's a, somebody's left a bulletproof vest in the middle of the field. But it's not. It's our snowmobile. Right. <sighs> I hate this thing. I really hate this bloody vehicle. Like, it's just so side to side twitchy. Uh oh. Nope. Nice, hit him. Get off. Try and focus on one at a time. There we go. Holy smokes, getting battered here. There's quite a lot of enemies, that's the problem. Oh, hello. Look at it. They've left footprints. I like, oh no. Let's try this thing. He might have seen it. What the F is this? No. Let's try and hide behind this tree. As if that was some kind of weird explosive there. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're, we're running very low on ammo. Okay, that was not what I was expecting, that explosive rifle thing. I've no idea what that was. Okay, back to the snowmobile. Doing this in fits and starts. Oh, hang on. Right, that should keep the cat busy for a while. Okay, right, sorry about this. There it is. These corpses everywhere. I did, I definitely did run one of, the, one of them over. There was a, a distinct thump and a... Uh, oh, I forgot this stupid thing of... The, the snowmobile is facing whichever way you are when you choose to get on it, which is ridiculous as well, but anyway. If you thought the snowmobile in 2 Ready 2 was difficult to control, you should give this one a go. No! No, look. That sort of thing. There's no way a snowmobile could do that. Anyway, let's have a little peek over here. See if we can get the jump on any enemies. Okay, no one about. Nice bit of recce work. You're probably supposed to just go like herring through them, but that's not going to happen. You always get shot to bits like while trying to steer through them. And I expect there's some people somewhere that probably that have played this game that probably thought this was these driving sections were really good bits of the game. They're not, for the record. They're, they're not. You're wrong if you think that. Oh, what's that? That's got to be the gondola station. Hang on. Let me oh, oh, forgot. There is no, there is no crouch in this. Okay, interesting. Can't see anybody up on the cliff top bit, but there is a dude by this gate. Holy moly! No! <laughs> oh, balls! Okay, I shall restart recording when I get up to that point again. Oh, you utter gimp. I do wonder if they'll bother chasing you the whole way along. I don't know. Okay, a couple of attempts later and we're here. I'm going to have a go at trying to snipe this dude now that we know he's got a rocket launcher, which is a little bit, little bit scary. I don't know where he's gone. I lost him. Where's he gone? There he is. Because this is obviously this weird explosive gun as well. He's dead! I don't even know what this this is! This is such a weird rifle! I think, I think that's all of them. And we've actually got a bit more ammo. And I think maybe even a bit more health. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking this up here. I'm very, very paranoid about driving off the edge of that cliff. Yeah, it took me a couple of attempts, unfortunately. Uh, on the second attempt, I um, ended up with so little health. Oh, hello. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Anyway. Oh, hang on. How do we get through? No. Oh, is it a dude in this tower? I bet you there's a dude in that tower. Where's it? Where's it gone? What is that briefcase? I don't even know what that's, that's doing, but anyway. No, maybe not. 
Who's... Who's getting this? Oh! Oh, it's electrified! The fence is electrified, I see. How do I... How do I non-electrify it? Is there a... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Like that! Holy moly! Does that mean the fence is no longer electrified? Oh, is it? Oh, I've got a blowtorch off the lock. Hang on. Several steps to get in this place, apparently. Has it got that still on? There we go. Finally. Taking us a bit of time to get in. I thought we were kind of... Oh, we are done. Nice. Alpine Intrigue, scene 7. Well, we're doing all right, actually. We're doing all right. We got to the... Um, we're getting towards the, the gondola bit. This is quite an extended um, sequence, this one. Because some of them are only like two or three scenes long, whereas uh, this one. It is good, though. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this much more than the... Oh, hello. I feel... Oh, look at that! That's got that Borderlands-style uh, fire effect. With, like, black on top and, like, underlit red glow. I like it. Anyway, we are actually going to leave it there. I know it feels like we haven't really done very much in this, but um, I don't know, we've, we've, we've done a couple of scenes, but I'm going to leave it there for the moment, so I'm going to save it there. Um, I know it's been slightly shorter than the normal episode, but, um, well, for me it's been about 35 minutes, but, uh, but that's once I've edited out the various fails, it'll probably be a lot less than that. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this part, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.